Our latest numbers from the CDC reveal hospitals have been counting patients who died from serious pre-existing conditions as COVID-19 deaths. One America's Pearson Sharp has more as the CDC counts over 51,000 patients who died from heart attacks as opposed to coronavirus. The Centers for Disease Control have updated their death counts for coronavirus and reveal yet again that COVID-19 is rarely the actual cause of death among coronavirus patients. According to the CDC themselves, of the 220,000 deaths attributed to the coronavirus, 87,000 of them died from pneumonia and influenza. Another 17,000 died from chronic respiratory diseases and 26,000 died from respiratory distress syndrome. 44,000 patients died from hypertensive diseases, 23,000 died from heart disease, and a whopping 28,000 died from cardiac arrest and heart failure. Yet all of these, even patients who died from heart attacks, were marked down as dying from the coronavirus. Doctors who spoke with One American News explained that 131,000 patients who are being considered COVID-19 deaths already had life-ending diseases, including cancer, dementia, and even end-stage renal failure. And according to the CDC, again, if you look at place of death, you'll see that some 10,000 patients who died from COVID were on hospice care, meaning they were terminally ill to begin with and were already expected to die. Doctors tell One America News that all of these patients were critically ill and likely died from their pre-existing conditions without any help from the coronavirus. However, they explain that the CARES Act, passed by Congress in March, gives hospitals a 20% bonus on their diagnosis-related group paid for by Medicare. Essentially, that means doctors are being paid to list deaths as coronavirus without any indication the patient's death was actually COVID-related. The CDC backs these numbers up, explaining that coronavirus itself is responsible for just 6% of all deaths listed as coronavirus-related. The other 94% of deaths are due to pre-existing comorbidities, including serious illnesses and advanced age. However, despite this report being officially published by the CDC, so far the mainstream media have completely ignored it, instead continuing to hype a pandemic that seems less dangerous every day.